Do you remember the movie Flight with Denzel Washington? Yes, you saw correctly, that plane was upside down. But how can planes even fly upside down? Find out with me today and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any future aviation videos. Welcome to Airspace Explained. First off, let's have a look at the reason why planes fly in the first place. Magic. Just kidding, there's a more scientific explanation. Lift is dependent on many factors, such as air density, speed of the plane, area and shape of the wing, and so on. But the most important factor to determine whether something will fly is the so-called angle of attack. This is not the pitch angle of the plane, but the angle at which air hits the aircraft. This angle may be slightly different from the pitch angle, but for this video, let's assume they are the same. If a wing travels through air at zero angle of attack, it will not provide any lift at all, no matter the speed. But as soon as the angle of attack increases, more and more lift is generated. This is, among other factors, due to the fact that air travels faster along the upper side of a wing and creates an area of low pressure on this side, which lifts the wing up into the air. This effect increases as the angle of attack is increased, but only up to a certain point, the maximum angle of attack, or alpha max. After that, the wing will soon stall and the airflow will no longer nicely adhere to the wing profile and the wing rapidly stops providing lift until the angle of attack is returned to a normal value. This exceedance of the maximum angle of attack and the subsequent stall were huge factors in the crash of Air France 447 in the North Atlantic. Video on that accident is popping up in the top right corner right now. But how does this answer the original question? Why are planes able to fly inverted, that is, upside down? You see, an airplane's wing is optimized for normal, non-inverted flight, obviously. However, if this profile is flipped on its head and enough angle of attack is applied, the same physical effect takes hold. Air flows faster on the upper side of the wing compared to the lower side and lift is generated. There is a saying about the US Air Force, namely that it will make anything fly if you just strap enough engines to it. No matter if it's a plane, a lawnmower, your front door or the hideous B-52 bomber, Everything will fly if you add enough speed and angle of attack to it. I mean, look at it, there are 8 engines on that monster. So in the end, it all comes down to angle of attack. No matter if a plane is flying normally or inverted, angle of attack decides whether a wing provides lift or doesn't. So there you have it, now you know why planes are able to fly inverted. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes. See you in the next one.